Well, good day, Saints. Today is November 6th, uh, 2014. It's Thursday, and we're getting this video to you as quickly as we can. Uh, just to give you a little backstory, we're going to do things a little different this weekend, and here's the reason why. We were trying to find a place to meet as a whole church for this su coming Sunday, and we were unable to do that. All the hotels that we normally have been able to rely on were all booked. Um, we weren't able to secure a community center, and we even called some other hotels and didn't hear back from them. And so it, it's been a delayed process, but it's also been a, brought us to really uh, no options, as we could tell. So today, when we're having our weekly prayer time, um, one of the ways the Lord kind of led me to pray was, Lord, what would you have us to do with the opportunity that's before us? Didn't really know what I was praying, but I just really sensed the Holy Spirit put that word in me, opportunity. Well, as we prayed, uh, the Lord blessed us in many ways. And when we were done, Susie had heard from the Lord about 40 minutes prior to the end of our prayer that we could break up into three groups and meet in three homes. And so uh, one of the things that we want to really recover in the church that we sensed has been missing is the real family dynamic and the unity that comes from having fellowship and coffee with one another and talk time. And what we've discovered is we need to be more intentional about that because lately our surroundings have not lent itself to that. So um, then that's something we're going to talk about at our membership meeting, which will be a week from this Sunday that I really invite you to come to because it'll be a conversational meeting and explaining some of the things that I just alluded to right now. But the way we're going to work this is we're going to have three homes, all led by pastors, uh, Pastor Leela McGee, uh, Pastors Jay and Susie, and Pastor Kim and myself will be hosting three groups of people and um, you're going to find out what group you're in and the, what really drove that was where what house can have the best children's ministry and so Jay and Susie pretty much volunteered and explained that their house is probably best for that so we we first looked at the list of who has children and we kind of lumped them into Jay and Susie's home and then we basically divvied up the rest and we're going to invite you to our homes. We're going to invite you to, we're going to have a, some worship. We're going to have Bible study. We're going to have uh, some fellowship over some food. And we're going to pray for one another. And it'll be a very comfortable time. And uh, I think it'll be very enjoyable. And I would really love for you to view this as the Lord spoke it to us, as an opportunity. An opportunity for us to recapture something that we all cherish and to... Uh, just see what the Lord has for us as, as things unfold. Now, if you don't get a phone call, it could be because we don't have a current phone number for you or you didn't release a phone number to us and we know that that happens once in a while. Some people aren't really comfortable with releasing their phone numbers. Well, in that case, you are invited to come to one of the three homes that will be posted uh, uh, with this video. And, um, but if you have children and you're bringing children, we just ask that you call us in advance, whatever home of your choice, so we can prepare for that. But we'd be glad to have you. Um, kind of a different thing, not something that we would necessarily choose, but I feel the Lord has given us this opportunity to make the most of it. And I really look forward to the intimacy that can come out of this. And I hope you do too. And I really hope you make an effort to come and what this will kind of be like will be three indoor picnics, I guess, that we'll be uh, sharing the word and having some fun and fellowship with.